Hey everybody, all right, it's time to hunt some nickels. I've got a bank bag of nickels here for my credit union's coin machine. The bag contains uh, $200 or two boxes of nickels and uh, it's gonna be a good hunt. We're gonna be looking for things like buffalo nickels, uh, V nickels, which are impossible to find, but silver uh, war nickels, errors, varieties, proofs, you name it. So. What I'll do is I'll cut the bag open and start the hunt. And since I don't have rolls to count, I'll just be counting handfuls of nickels. So let me get on with the hunt and I'll come back when I've got something good. Handful number three, and we've got our first find. 1947 out of Denver. That's sweet, we'll take it. Handful number four, and we've got another 1940s, 1948. Ooh, out of San Francisco. That's a, uh, it's a semi key date. 11 million minted. All right, we'll take that. Handful number seven, we've got another 40s nickel. Haven't found any in the 50s yet. It's 1949, that's not in bad condition. 1949, S, another semi key date. Wow, less than 10 million minted. So I'm gonna have to need to put these over here so I remember their semi-key dates. Same handful, handful number seven, and we've got a foreign. 1985 from Canada. That's pretty sweet. Handful number eight, we've got our first 50s nickel. And it's in pretty sweet shape as well, 1957 out of Denver. I wonder if we're going to have a small collection dump here. The coins are in pretty decent shape. Handful number nine, and we've got another nice 50s nickel here. 1958 out of Denver. Handful number 14. We've got another 50s nickel here. 1954 out of Denver. All right. I was grabbing handful number 16, and as I was grabbing the coins from the bag, I looked over and I saw that. It's a buffalo. It's tough to see, but I can almost see a nine there. Let me put it under the scope. All right, there it is. You can see the nine. You can't see if it's a one or a two and I'm probably not gonna nick it. It is a 19, either a 1919 or a 1929, but that's still, I think that's my first buffalo found since I started hunting these uh, bank bags. Handful 16, and we've got another fine 1941 out of Philly. Handful number 19, and we've got another 50s, 1953. Out of San Fran. That's sweet. Handful number 20, and we've got our first 30s nickel. 1939. Will I have a mint mark though? Uh, of course not. That's right, 1939 out of Philly. Handful 24, and we've got a 1940 out of Philly. Handful 25, we've got a 1948 out of uh, Denver. Handful 25, same handful, and just a few coins later, we've got a 1959 out of Philly. Handful 26, and we've got a 1952 out of Philly. Handful number 31, and we've got another foreign. Cinco Centesimos de Balboa from Panama, 2017. Oh, and I found a key earlier. Handful number 40, and we've got another find. It's a 1955 
Now the semi key date is the 55P, 55D out of Denver. That's right, we'll take it. Handful 41, and we've got another 1939. Out of Philly. So close. Same handful, number 41, and we've got a 1941 out of San Fran. Handful 42, and we've got a 1940 out of Denver. Handful 48, and we've got a 1957 out of Denver. Roll 50, and we've got a 1959 out of uh, Denver. Handful 56, and we've got a 1940 out of Philly. Handful 57, and we've got a 1948 out of Denver. Roll 58, and we have a 1958 out of Denver. Handful number 60, and we've got a sort of dark looking 1941 out of Philly. Handful number 64, and we have a 1959 out of Philly. And I think we may have an older one here. So let's check it out. 1952 out of Philly. All right, that's pretty sweet. Roll 65, and we have another foreign. It is from Switzerland, 1974. And that's probably 20 centimes. Not really sure. But anyway, that's a uh, that's a pretty cool find. So the next handful, handful 66, and we have another foreign. Don't know if I've found one of these either. It's from Singapore. 2011, 20 cents. I think that is a new one there. And then I saw an older one here. 1959. Out of Denver. All right. That's sweet. We'll take it. Handful number 66, and we have a 1957 out of Philly. Handful 67, and we've got another Swedish coin, 19, ooh, 1968. Another, I think it's 20 centimes. I'll figure that out later, but anyway, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice find. Handful 68, we've got a 1955, will it be from Philly, that is a, a semi-key date, uh, of course not, 55D, but that's all right, we'll take it. Handful 69, and we're going to have another 1955, is it a 55 out of Philly? Mm, nope. That's all right. And then I saw another foreign. And it's another one from uh, Switzerland here. Let's see. Whoop. 1974. All right. Handful number 70. And we've got another foreign. 
It's another Canadian. 1986. And then I saw another coin that looked older. 1958, out of Denver. Handful 71, and we've got a 1958 in really nice condition out of Philly. Handful 72, and this is our ninth foreign coin. 1995, five cents from Bermuda. Handful number 78, and we have another 1939. But will it have a mint mark? Nope. That's all right, 1939 out of Philly. Here's a quick recap of the finds. So found 12 from the 40s. Uh, I've got two more I'll show you in a bit. 18 from the 50s, and I've got three more I'll show you as well. Uh, I did find a key. I don't know what the key goes to. Uh, these are some nicer looking um, nickels. We'll check those against the album to see if they upgrade anything or not. We did find nine foreigns. So that's a, that's a lot of foreigns to find in a, in a bag or well, two boxes. And then we did find three from 1939. None of them have mint marks, so they're not key dates. And then we found two semi-key dates, 1948, 1949S. And then we found the one buffalo nickel. And I believe after looking at it a little bit, a little bit longer, I think it's a 1929. So that's it for the hunt. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Also, would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. And of course, feel free to leave us a comment below. So thanks again for watching and good luck with your hunts.